The next speaker is Dr. Santanu Sen. Good afternoon, sir. Before coming to the point, on behalf of All India Trinamool Congress, let me ensure you that till 13th of August, we are going to protest every single second of every working day against the biggest international scam involving billions of dollars, and that is nothing but this Pegasus. It has hacked not only the journalists, not only the opponents, not only the politicians, it has hacked the phone of our All India General Secretary, learned member of Parliament, Ovishek Bondo. Come to the subject. Come to the subject. We, are, we are not going to spare a single second. Let me tell you the facts, sir. Now, let me come to the point of COVID. Showing my homage to all the departed souls who have left us of COVID, quoting John Wooden, Sir, failure is no fatal, but failure to change might be. The problem with our present government is they are failing to change themselves. That's why it's becoming fatal. So let us remember the first COVID case. It was on 13th, 30th January in Kerala. Sir, once again, I will ensure you, I will maintain the gesture. Certainly, I will address our Narendra Modi ji as our learned Prime Minister. I will never call him Dada, though he used to call our Chief Minister Didi Didi sarcastically. But I will tell him learned Prime Minister. Sir, 24th and 25th of February, our learned Prime Minister was busy holding Namaste Trump. We know the fate of both the persons became same, unfortunate. <laughs> he was busy in doing horse trading for Madhya Pradesh government, sir. Yeah. Later on, he took whimsical decisions about the migrant labors. The entire rural India got infected of COVID. What you have seen? When the question of testing came, this government purchased testing kits from China with a profit of 145 percent and that found to be faulty. That found to be faulty everywhere. Thousands of migrant laborers died on the road, sir. Even the government refused to give the train fare. Come to our West Bengal. Our chief minister offered the train fare. Not only that, she has given employment to all those migrant laborers who have been thrown from different parts of the country. sir. Though COVID is a multi-peak system disease, the situation and scenario is not same in every state of the country, but there was no value in the federal structure of the government. Unilateral advisories, states' hands were tied, sir. Sir, there were stringent restrictions to several issues, so far the states are concerned. Though I would like to remind you, the concept of safe home, the concept of physical distancing by drawing circles on the road, the concept of physical distancing, the concept of comorbidity studies, or all these were the brainchilds of none other than Madam Mamta Banerjee, the Chief Minister, the Health Minister of our state of West Bengal. Sir, our learned Prime Minister said, Kurukhetra work was won in 18 days. We'll be winning over this battle against Corona in 21 days. What has happened? He has asked us to beat drum, to light the lamp, and we followed it. Unfortunately, the government and the BJP leaders, they tried to make our prime minister, not prime minister, international leader. So they declared that we have won this battle against COVID. No preparedness for the second wave. Second wave came in. What has happened? What we have seen? People who are dying on road because of, because of scarcity of oxygen in this 21st of century. Can you believe it? Our chief minister offered a piece of land to build up oxygen plant. But our learned prime minister has given sanction to his beloved state Uttar Pradesh, where the dead bodies were found to be floating on the river. Sir. Most unfortunate. Sir, everyone is well aware of the Kumbh Mela. Crores of people got infected because of that. Sir, what has, what has happened during this election? If they were really conscious, Tamil Nadu was having 234 assembly seats. They are having election in one phase. Our state of West Bengal, the biggest threat to our learned Prime Minister, 
we are having 294 eight phases election. Shame. What was the infectivity rate before the election started? It was only 2.3 percent, and after the eighth phase of election, it became 33 percent. Again, kudos to our chief minister because of our effort. Once again, the infectivity rate has come down to 1.8 percent as of now, sir. Sir, we have started the vaccination on 16th of January. Initially, there was a lot of hesitancy because there was a lack of awareness among the people of the country. No awareness program, no proper policy. It's very shameful for us, being Indian, Lancet, the oldest medical journal of the world, WHO, Supreme Court, several high courts of the states, several countries like Brazil, Canada, UK, they have categorically criticized the COVID fighting policy of our India. What can be a more sinful incident for us, sir? Sir, this Prime Minister, we have heard, he was saying few days back, one earth, one health policy. On the contrary, only few months back, he has said, one vaccine, three prices policy. Can you believe it? India, we have faced one vaccine, one price for central government, one price for state government, and the other price for the private sectors. They have categorically opened up the floodgates for, uh, for corruption. What, is, what we have faced, sir? Sir, the vaccine-producing companies are not getting paid regularly. The vaccine-producing companies are not getting paid regularly. The vaccine producer has left India, and he was a jet category protective provided by our government of India, sir. Sir, initially, they have disholdered the responsibility. Our learned Prime Minister and our health department said, we are not going to take the responsibility to vaccinate those who are below 45. Why, sir? Are they not the voters? Are they not the Indian citizens? States decided to purchase. Our state gave money. They were denied. Once again, they have centralized the power of this vaccination cell. What has happened? We have seen our government was busy in Central Vista project, spending 80,000, 90,000 crores. What about the 35,000 crores? That was the budgetary allocation for COVID vaccination cell. What about the PM care fund, sir, which was not at all audited by CAG? The problem is our Prime Minister is more in a mode of publicity master. That's why once again on 21st of June, he started beating his own drum. He once again became in a self-congratulatory mode. He once again tried to play in one day international instead of a test match. And he has said, we have inoculated this amount of vaccine, we have crossed USA. Unfortunately, if you compare the population ratio, sir, you will see you have vaccinated only one third than that of USA. And if you count the total vaccination, you know two doses are needed. It's 4.8 percent of Indian citizenship have been vaccinated by two doses only as of now. Sir, it's not only in a case of Bengal. Maharashtra, Jharkhand, Rajasthan, Punjab, Delhi, all of them are facing this acute crisis of vaccine. Sir, when the National Health Mission says that the highest vaccination rate is in the state of West Bengal, when the National Health Mission says that the vaccination wastage is least in West Bengal, least allocation for West Bengal, why such stepmotherly attitude for Bengal always, sir? Sir, the data says if we inoculate 10 million per day, then we can tackle this third wave. And if we inoculate 3.2 million per day, then it will take 45 percent to be inoculated till December, and we can inoculate 60 percent at the end of March 2022. Sir, the most unfortunate part of the story, largest, largest COVID vaccine producing country, we are exporting six crores of doses in two months, and we are starving. We are not getting vaccinated. Sir, let me remind you the affidavit that has been given by government of India before Supreme Court. What it said, 186.6 crore shots needed to vaccinate all above 18 years. And... 135 crore will be available till December 31, 2020, 2021. But what our learned minister Prakash Javrekar said in the year, in the month May 2021, he said by between August and December, there will be an availability of 260 crores of vaccines. 
One minister is saying something, data is saying something, epidemic that is being produced before Supreme Court is saying something. Just imagine the real picture, sir. The main problem is our government is always in a self-congratulatory mode. They know some of their leaders are saying corona is a virus. It has got the right to live. Can you believe it? Some of their ministers are saying have some Bhaviji Papa or you will get rid of corona. Some of their leaders are saying have a drink of cow's urine or cow dung, you will be get rid of corona. That is the main problem. And what we have seen? Just to dissolve the responsibility, our previous health minister has been made a scapegoat. But we are hopeful that we have seen the dead bodies floating on the rivers during the second wave. But we are apprehensive that if our present health minister doesn't work properly, then that, then that day is not very far when we, will, we might see dead bodies lying on the road, sir. Just imagine that day, because of extreme unpreparedness, during third wave, that day might come when we come across dead bodies lying on the road. Sir. We have got, I have got three, four proposals, sir. Sir, only mass vaccination you is the in one solution. Minute, Dr. Sen, please. Only, only mass vaccination is the solution because we all know that third wave might affect the younger group, children group. Why? Because they are not yet vaccinated. So government takes a strong note regarding the mass vaccination policy. Especially availability of pediatric ventilator, it should be a must. And the federal structure should be given importance. What's wrong in it? If a lady knows better than you, what's wrong in it to have, to have some good ideas from that lady? Why don't you come to West Bengal for a day? Just see, you have made this infectivity rate 33%. Within a span of one month, it has come down to 1.3% in our state of West Bengal. What's wrong in it to learn something good from it? And my last proposal before my learned health minister will be to give proper your time is over, please to all those COVID warriors. Please have an idea in your mind to build up a COVID memorial in a centrally located place. Thank you very much. And we believe Thank you. we will not be able to see the dead bodies on the road. Thank you. Thank very much. you, Dr. Sen.